have no idea what I want to say. Can I just sit here and smile? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Pav and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and comment down below if you have anything to say with regards to this video and without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to see in this video. I'm literally just sitting here with my Timmy's and I kind of just want to talk, kind of like share what's been on my mind for the past little bit, I would say, since a long time now, like probably a year. <laughs> I really just want to express some things that I feel like are probably more common than I think. I'm sure there's other people out there who feel the way that I do really hard to kind of relate with anyone else because it kind of seems like everyone has it all figured out first thing i want to say is no one has it all figured out even though that's the way i see it sometimes and i'm like i don't get it like it seems like everyone has it all figured out but nobody has it all figured out and that's really important to keep in mind so what am i trying to say <laughs> this is hard <sighs> i'm going to start out by saying the obvious which is I'm lost. I feel so lost. I'm not the type of person to like talk about this kind of stuff to everyone. I don't I don't think I've like talked about this to more than like maybe one or two people. Hard for me to talk about things like this, but I'm trying to work on being more expressive and saying my truth and expressing what I'm really feeling. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I feel quite lost in life right now. I don't know if it's because like I just graduated like a few weeks ago and when you go into university, you expect to come out with answers, like you expect to come out knowing exactly what you want to do, where you want to go, and for me, I went in thinking that I knew exactly what I wanted to do and I came out with more questions and I have no idea what to do, I have no idea where to go, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, I don't know like what I'm into, like it just like, it kind of just, I don't know, I'm just lost. Everyone likes to ask like what's next, like what do you want to do next and usually people will have an answer and I don't have an answer so sorry what was the question? I try to tell myself that it's okay to not have answers right now and uh, one day I will. It's not that I need to have an answer to give to other people. I just want answers for myself um, but the point I'm trying to make is that when people ask what are you going to do next? Um, it does kind of stress me out. I do try to focus on the fact that I will figure it out one day and maybe that day is not today but one day I will have it figured out and it's okay if I don't have it all figured out because no one has it all figured out even though it may look that way um, but I will have the answers that I need one day and that day is just not today and that's okay. But sometimes it's just hard to remind myself that. <laughs> sometimes I forget that so and I'm sure there's many of you out there who feel the same way. And I just want you to know you're not alone. Some days I wake up and I have like this energy and I'm all about like self-discovery. I'm all about like figuring out who I am. I'm all about figuring out what I'm into and like working on these little passion projects and being creative with things and really trying to figure out like, okay, what am I into? What could I do? Side hustles, whatever. Other days, it's like I'll wake up and I'm like, what's the point of even getting out of bed? Like I don't have a purpose right now. That's the best way I can put it. Like I, some, <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm just waking up without a purpose, like I don't have anything to chase. I'm not I'm not seeing like a goal and so I don't really know what to do. Some days I'll wake up and I'm very motivated 
and I want to do something and I feel like I'm more patient like some days I feel like I could be patient with myself and I could be patient with life and not expect things to happen right that second and um, you know that like I, I truly believe those days that things take time and I have to be patient to see results I have to be patient for me to get somewhere you know like success doesn't happen overnight and then there's some days where I feel like I'm in such a rut like I feel like like where am I going <laughs> like what's the point where am I going and it's scary and I think social media has a big part to play in the way I viewed success and now I'm trying to like unlearn all those things and like not let it affect me so much like when you see someone you know achieve all these things and they're like the same age as you it kind of freaks you out because you're just like why am I not there yet like how come that person has it all figured out and like here I am I have no idea what I'm doing I just want to remind you that like nobody has it all figured out like social media is literally a highlight reel of everyone's lives so you're not going to see what goes on behind the scenes and I constantly work to remind myself that that I should not be comparing myself and my life to someone else's highlight reel because there's way more to the story and there's way more to the person than what you see. But like, then again, there are days where I do compare myself to other people and you know, it takes a lot of work to unlearn things that you have been doing for so long and not have your mind focus on those things so that you can instead be more focused on yourself and self-love and self-discipline and figuring out who you truly are and what you really want from life and that journey has been tough uh, the weird thing is I kind of make it harder on myself and I think we all do that most of the time there's really no one else who's like sitting there watching you and going why aren't you here yet why aren't you doing that it's usually just ourselves comparing ourselves to other people and putting the pressure on ourselves to figure out everything right then and there. I have very supportive parents, um, you know, like people close to me are very supportive and they're not the type to like pressure me into things. Um, my parents have never said that I have to go down a certain career path or anything. Like even right now, like I took the entire summer off to literally do nothing. I wanted to not have a job, I wanted to not be in school, I already graduated but I like I, I had no plans for the summer and they were totally okay with that because I just wanted to take this time to just reflect and figure out what I want and even then I always remind myself to not put a timeline on it like it's not like by the end of the summer I need to have it all figured out it's more like I really just wanted this time to focus on myself and that's what I've been doing um, it's just that sometimes it gets uh, kind of lonely and scary the thing with me is I don't want to rush into something that I don't want to do or I don't have a passion for and so I need to understand that in order to figure out what my passion is and to succeed in that it's going to take time um, it's just hard to accept that sometimes because I went from having a very fixed path very uh, certain results you could say and a path of stability to now trying to figure it all over again like it's kind of like I'm back to square one and I'm like where do I go from here I'm sure there's other people out there who feel the same way and it's probably a very common thing for people who graduate because they're there's probably people out there just like me who went to university thinking they knew exactly what they wanted and they come out and they're like 
what is life? <laughs> I'm still figuring it out for myself, so, but I'm being completely honest that sometimes I do that and I know we all do that as much as we like to say like don't compare yourself to others like you know it robs your happiness the grass always looks greener on the other side we still do it and I think it takes time to move away from those unhealthy habits and just to be able to focus more on yourself and what you want and focus less on what other people have because Sometimes you may think you want what other people have and until you get it and you're like, this is not where I want it to be. I'm trying to work really hard to make sure that whatever I decide to do, it's because I truly am passionate about it and I want to do it for myself. Not because someone else made it look fun or not because someone else did it, but truly because I want to do it. For now, I don't have the answers. I don't have... I just don't. <laughs> I think we ourselves are our worst enemies. Like we put these expectations on ourselves that we need to have everything figured out by this age and we need to be on this step of life by this age and it's a lot. <laughs> It's, it's a lot to handle and I don't think it has to be that way like do things at your own pace and I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite because I'm sitting here going like I'm lost I don't know what I'm doing like again like like there's some days when I'm like feeling very motivated and I'm like it's okay you don't have to have it all figured out and there's other days where I'm like life is passing me by what am I doing and I think everyone has the right to feel that way. Like there's no right or wrong way to feel. Whatever it is that you feel, embrace it, feel it, and then figure out how you're going to move forward. It's unhealthy when you stay stuck in that, um, in that rut because then you're just like going down this hole. And it's important to make sure that you have a supportive circle and um, that you are developing positive habits and that's something I'm still working on. It's important to develop positive habits because even though you're feeling lost because sometimes it's one of those things that's gonna like maybe strike a bulb or something and who knows what's gonna get you where. You never know. So it's important to like explore things and like just spend time with yourself, focus on yourself. You might get your answers just randomly sitting there someday, I don't know. I constantly remind myself to keep an open mind and an open heart and not constantly worry about things and that things will happen on their own time as long as I work hard from my end. And yeah, I'm going to continue focusing on myself and just spreading love. I like watching people who share like their deep thoughts and stuff so it, it makes me feel more connected to people and it makes me feel like less alone when the person shares something that I've been feeling so if you were feeling lost and uh, you know demotivated then um, I hope you were able to connect with me and I really truly want you to know and believe that you are not alone. I saw this post on Instagram and I really like the way that it was worded so I'm gonna read it out. Give things time. Don't let instant gratification make you forget how much is already happening in your favor. Just because you don't see it all instantly manifesting doesn't mean great things aren't on the way or in the works for you. Be patient and be faithful. Keep believing. Whenever I see something motivational like that, I like to save it. You know, on those days when I feel demotivated and I feel like life just feels like it's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, on those bad days, I look at those posts and I like to remind myself that good things are on the way and I just, I have to meet them halfway though. Uh, I'm a strong believer that you can't just sit there and wait for things to happen. You have to meet them halfway. You have to work hard on your part for the rest to fall into place like you can't just sit there and expect things to fall into place for you yeah so i guess that's 
all I wanted to say. Uh, yeah, whatever you do, do it with passion. Do it with love. Do it because it truly means something to you. Don't settle. Don't do something just because someone else is saying it's good for you. Make sure that you are living life the way that you want to because like 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now, you don't want to look back and be like, I wish I had done that. I wish I had tried that. I wish I had lived for myself because regret is huge. It's, it's a huge thing to carry. I hope you all are focusing on your dreams and you'll get your answers at your time and just make sure that you're you're not stressing out by focusing on someone else's life and focusing on how things are happening on a different timeline for that person because you have your own timeline your life has its own timeline and things will happen for you on your time if you don't know what your dream is yet and you don't know what your passion is and you're not sure what you're doing and you feel lost um, just know that you're not alone and if you want to talk, shoot me a message on Instagram. I'd be more than happy to talk to you. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Comment down below if you've felt this way ever and what you did to um, kind of figure things out. Like, did you read any books or whatever? I do have like books that I'm currently reading that have been helping and they do help me stay uh, positive. I might do a separate video on how to feel positive like even when you're feeling lost or something like that I might do that so I think I'll leave that for another video but um, yeah thank you for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time have a good day guys bye